Hello guys, welcome back. Yesterday we have discussed discussed about autosomes and sex chromosome, and we have discussed autosomes are those chromosomes which are not involved in sex determination, but they determine the somatic body traits. And sex chromosomes are the chromosomes which are involved in determination of sex of an individual. Today we will talk about the mechanism of sex determination it is the process that determines the zygote whether develops into male or female first of all definition what is sex determination sex determination in biology is a system which decides whether the organism will be male or female there are uh, different types of uh, sex determination like XX, XY, like ZZ and ZW. The most similar is XY, XX and XY, uh, which is found in human beings and other mammals as well. In this system, the sex of an individual is determined by a pair of sex chromosomes. As you know, in case of human beings, the female develops from zygote when the zygote receive two X chromosomes one from the father one from the mother but a boy will develops from the zygote when the zygote receive two sex chromosomes a pair of sex chromosomes X that comes from mother and Y that comes from father the XX and XY sex determination system is the most familiar very famous as it is found in human beings and other mammals as well. Uh, let's uh, discuss in detail this XX, XY sex determination in human beings. In case of human beings. Now, sex determination in human beings, the system is known as XX and XY sex determination system. XX, XY sex determination system in case of human beings. If the zygote receive two sex chromosome and both are X the one X is inherited by father the other X is inherited by mother the zygote with two X chromosome X and X will develops into a female but if a zygote receive two sex chromosome one is the X the other is Y X comes from mother and Y comes from father this XY a pair of X and Y sex chromosome, the zygote with X and Y chromosomes will develop into a male. In case of sexually reproducing organisms, the parents, one is the male, other is the female. And in case of human beings, both father and mother are diploid individuals. In case of human male, the father, it is diploid individual. Look at the chromosomal number. 46. It is having 44 autosomes. First 22 pairs of autosomes. 44 in number. And this is the 23rd pair sex chromosome. In case of father, one is the X chromosome, other is the Y chromosome. Now, mother, female. Now, the mother is also deployed. She is also a deployed individual having 46 chromosomes. First 22 pairs autosomes. First 44 chromosomes are autosomes. And this is the 23rd pair. It is having, she is having two sex chromosomes and both are X and X. Now the male produces male gametes sperms and female produces female gametes ova. Gametes. Gametes are formed by a process known as gametogenesis. The process by which gametes are formed. In case of male, the sperms are formed by a process called spermatogenesis and in case of female, the ova are formed by a process of oogenesis. And as you know, there are three parts, three phases of gametogenesis, multiplication phase, growth phase and maturation phase and the third phase involves meiosis. Maturation phase of gametogenesis involves meiosis and these deployed germ cells will give rise will produce haploid gametes now in case of male the sperms are formed by meiosis 
look at the spots now the father is having 44 autosomes meiosis is the cell division that reduces diploid number into haploid number now out of 44 autosomes 22 goes to this sperm and 22 goes to this sperm and look at the pair of sex chromosome one is the x other is the y x goes to this sperm and y goes to this sperm now the both the sperms are haploid now these sperms are haploid each having 23 chromosomes now in case of female there is a process of oogenesis again it involves meiosis now she produces ova eggs by which process again by meiosis now she is having 44 autosomes 22 autosomes goes to this egg and 22 autosomes goes to this egg or ovum she is having a pair of sex chromosomes both are eggs one x goes to one egg the second x goes to another egg now look at the eggs both the eggs are haploid this is having one x chromosome and 22 autosome this is having one x chromosome the x and other 22 autosome now the male has produced two types of sperm one is the x sperm other is the y is both the sperms are different from each other in case of human beings the male is always heterogametic male is always heterogametic hetero means different gamos means gametes an individual an organism that produces two types of gametes you see here the two types of sperm x and y but the female is homogametic homo means same gamos means gamete she produces same types of gametes both the ova contain x chromosome 22 plus x and 22 plus x both the ova are same so she is homogametic now in case of human beings it is the sperm which determines the sex of an individual it is the sperm that will determine from the zygote whether a male or female will develop now we will discuss the possibility of zygotes in this marriage what will be the possible zygotes and offsprings and what will be the sex of their offsprings now this is very important point it is the sperm that determines the sex of an individual in case of human beings okay let's see how now the father produces two types of sperm one with x chromosome and this sperm is called gynosperm gyno stands for female and the other sperm is called androsperm andro stands for male now the male is heterogamous producing two types of sperm x the sperm with X chromosome is called gynosperm and the sperm with Y chromosome is called androsperm. Now this, if this sperm combines any of the egg, the resulting zygote will develop into female. That is why it is called gynosperm. If this sperm having Y chromosome will fuse with one of the egg, the zygote will develop into male. That is why this sperm is called androsperm. Now look at the first zygote. If this is sperm, we say gynosperm, this is sperm combines with this egg. Now, what will be the chromosomal number in this zygote? It will be 44 plus XX. How 44? 22 autosomes comes from this sperm and 22 autosomes comes from this ovum. And the X, this X comes from the sperm and this X comes from the ovum. The zygote with two X chromosomes will develop into female. So that zygote will develop into a baby girl. Now, if this sperm fuses with this egg. Now this is the zygote. And father contributes sperm with X gynosperm. And mother contributes this egg. What will be the chromosomal number in this zygote? Again, 44 plus XX. 22 comes from, autosomes comes from this sperm, 22 from this X, 44 autosomes, X and X, the sperm also contributes X, the egg also contributes X, XX will be the female, baby girl. Now look at the endosperm, if this sperm fuses with this egg, the zygote will have 
44 plus xy 22 autosomes contributed by this sperm 22 autosomes by the ovum 44 autosome the egg has contributed x but the sperm now has contributed y the individual with xy will develop into a male that will be a baby boy and if this sperm fuses with this egg now look at this sperm fuses with this egg the zygote will have 44 plus xy again 22 autosomes comes from this sperm 22 from this egg y comes from the sperm and x comes from the egg the zygote will develop into baby boy as you know the role of SRY gene sex determining region on Y the SRY gene is located on the Y chromosome and that SRY gene codes for the protein that causes the zygote or developing features to develop male gonad testes in the presence of SRY gene the zygote will, it all, uh, will always develop into male sex but in case of female when there is no Y chromosome there is no SRY gene in the absence of SRY gene the zygote will develop into a female hopefully uh, this video provide you enough information for sex determination in human beings thank you